Hello and welcome everybody to this special interview with Stephen Rabel today. Stephen is founder and CEO Making Change Happen. He is also a senior advisor to Nexel and he is former partner of Fresh Fields. Stephen, very warm welcome to you today on Lobwiser. Thank you, Aman. Uh, you know, one thing very interesting about Stephen is that, uh, you know, even though it's a responsibility of most of the partners to do rainmaking, but Stephen was actively managing business development besides being an M&A lawyer with Freshfields, which makes this conversation very, very special today. Um, Stephen, one conversation that always happens in law firms is that how do you utilize your existing relationship to expand the pie of existing clients. Could you help us understand how relationship management can help in expanding revenue from existing clients through cross-selling? Um, our law advisor community largely consists of lawyers, law firm partners, and uh, legal BD professionals who are going to be immensely benefited out of this insight. Yeah, I'm very happy to share some thoughts, Aman. I mean, I think one of the things that is a is a given uh, in in the legal industry and also many other industries, and that's that it's much easier to win work from existing clients, clients where you have a relationship. Uh, hopefully, it's been a good relationship, uh, and therefore you can build on that uh, and, uh, as I say, win more work from those existing clients. Uh, and I think sometimes the, the, the paradox of that is, uh, and, and marketing versus the legal industry generally, is that clients don't like to be sold legal services as if it's soap powder. You know, they see it as, as something different and special. And on the other side, lawyers don't like to sell. You know, so you've got this strange combination of nobody wanting to, to, to sell anything or, or be sold to. Uh, and, and it's much more about having good, deep conversations that enables the lawyer to work out how that they can help the client. And I think supporting that is a, a really strong relationship between the lawyer on the one hand and the business development support in their law firm on the other, because the lawyers, I think, have to be at the sharp end of the conversation with the clients. But to make those conversations effective, they need to be really well supported uh, by a good BD team. Because to be effective, the lawyers need to really understand the client. So when you're preparing for that conversation with the client, you need to do some homework. You need to read the annual report, and see what the company is doing, and thinking about. It. You need to check for recent press releases, what problems have they had, what successes have they had. And above all, you have to go into that conversation with the client in listening mode, not, I want to tell you all about what I've just done and what my firm can do for you, but how is it? What are the challenges you're facing? And that can then lead into a how can we help you conversation. And uh, I can help with that but I'd like you to meet my fellow partner who can help you with this other issue. So it becomes a natural evolution of that conversation. And I think anchoring it into good conversation is what good client relationship management is about and what good business development uh, is about. Can you shed some light? In fact, you've talked about uh, two things. One is that it is about client and it is not about what you do and it is about collaboration internally and uh, you know introducing the right services and the right partners just spend a little time on the internal collaboration and say for example uh, you know how like us you know is there a technology solution like crm you know comes into the play uh, in in that sense Well, I, I agree completely. I think it's really important to have a good 
CRM system. I think many law firms have CRM systems but don't use them effectively. And therefore, there isn't that coordination that clients expect. So you've got lawyers within the same law firm talking to the client in different ways and different topics. And often I hear from clients uh, that they are disappointed in a sense as to how chaotic their law firms seem to be because of these multiple conversations that on the one hand and on the other hand, they don't seem to know what we're talking about. And clients' biggest frustration, uh, and I, I've experienced this, you know, as a client myself of, of law firms that I use, you know, you tell one partner something and, and you expect the firm to, to log that piece of information and be aware of it. And then the next conversation you have with a lawyer, you're asked the same question. Really frustrating for clients. So having good systems in place where uh, you can be joined up as a firm, I think is really important in the client size and underestimated uh, in the law firm's eyes. So I, I do uh, really agree with you that having good systems in place uh, also enables you to have better conversations with the client because through that information sharing and that collaboration, you have a better understanding of the client. And, and really just to emphasize the point that, that you were alluding to, you know, if the best meeting is to go with a fellow partner, then go with a fellow partner. Don't think that, you know, you can be successful just on your own if you're part of a law firm. Uh, the very reason the client is talking to you as part of that law firm is because of what the law firm as a whole can do, not what you as a single individual can do. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, in fact, you made another very interesting point in the report saying that, you know, COVID actually has helped law firms across the globe recognize the importance of business development. And you said that, you know, it doesn't need to be a different strategy uh, in, in today's scenario, but, you know, how you do things is, is, is very important. Can you throw some light on that point? Well, I think, I, I think COVID has been in a sort of good news, bad news story for, for business development um, in the sense that I think um, lawyers and law firms that have risen to the challenge uh, caused by, by people working from home, people working differently, has been more uh, frequent conversations, but also more personal conversations. Um, you and I started this conversation by asking how each of us were and how each of us were dealing with the impacts of COVID. You've got, you've got something to talk about at a very personal level. And I think many lawyers have created stronger, deeper relationships with their clients by having those personal conversations that then lead into a work conversation. Now, on the other hand, and why I say this and some bad news out there, I've heard from many general counsel that they're kind of frustrated their law firms have stopped talking to them because they can't have lunch or dinner or a cup of coffee. There's been no communication. And, and I think that's really bad. I think clients have recognized it because clients are seeing some law firms and lawyers do it well and some do it badly. So I think all lawyers need to reflect on the fact that COVID isn't an excuse for no communication. It's a driver for communicating in different ways. Uh, you know, we can all use Zoom and Teams. There's no magic in any of this anymore. It's still about having a good organized approach to good client relationship management and having those conversations where you make them personal, but you also listen as to what the challenges that particular um, internal lawyer or that company is facing. Sure. In fact, another point that I wanted to touch upon, and that's pretty much the last point today, is that, uh, you know, you basically, you know, you, you, you suggested that BD should be a shared responsibility of all the lawyers in the firm supported by a BD team. That, that's quite an interesting insight, uh, you, you know, some, and, you know, one more thing I wanted to actually ask you, which is related and unrelated is that, you know, what should be the percentage of BD staff? in in any law firm okay and 
and and can you talk a bit about both these things and you know how 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 can lawyers and bd team work in sync with each other uh, and uh, you know you know provide optimal results for client for for, for the firm well, uh- I, I I I really do agree that this is this is teamwork. Uh, there are elements that lawyers themselves need to do, and I think there's a client expectation of lawyers playing that business development role. Uh, but I think for it to be really effective, it needs to be supported by good business development people. Uh, and and I think in many firms, the BD function has kind of grown uh, because of various things that needed doing you know directories huge amount of time spent on directories so suddenly you know the, the work of the business development team expands to meet those those needs but i think in many firms we're almost at a stage where you need to say well, let's just put this on pause let's get a piece of paper and define what the role of the lawyer is in business development and the expectation we have of all our lawyers associates and partners and the support role the business development play because that makes for more effective business development by lawyers lawyers need to be fed the information in a sense to have those good client uh, conversations that i was talking about um there i say it, there needs to be a degree of a nag system you know a good organized business development group will go to their lawyers and say oh you said you were going to call so and so in the in the client did you if not can you do it next week this this bit of pressure needs to come from business development and probably above all and something that i think everyone is bad at in this context is you have that great conversation with the client and there's three takeaways actioning those takeaways really important you know lawyers are probably bad at writing call notes you know in some uh, non-professional services organizations you know it it's it, it people wouldn't conceive of having a client conversation without them doing a call note and putting it in a CRM system i i think lawyers would find that extraordinary that people do that but to have three or four bullet points of follow up and for business development groups to help that follow up Uh, I think is is a game changer in, in, to a certain extent, uh, and I think again having that effective CRM system so that there's a common platform that lawyers and business development use, I think is essential. But as I say, I think we probably reached a point where we need to redraw that relationship by looking at the roles uh, and looking at the amount of I fear too much admin that's dumped on business development. you know fr- from all sorts you know you, you hear them arranging internal conferences internal parties client events you know and and you wonder have people lost touch with what the core role of business development is in a law firm so i think we're at a blank piece of paper time uh, and i think lawyers can't delegate business development to business development people it is about teamwork uh, and them both playing a role uh, and uh supporting uh, that role to achieve as we started more revenue for the law firm thank you so much stephen i think these insights are pretty good and i think i'll come back to you with more detailed conversation at later point of time but you know for now thank you very much stephen for and i really appreciate it thank you aman i've enjoyed the conversation <laughs>